Have you recovered the mutant Takata brain yet? I'm eager to conclude the business we discussed. It's all yours. Enjoy. Excellent. This chemical will make it appear as though Renning is falsifying his research. There. All that remains is for me to whisper the right words in the wrong ears. I'm transferring credits to your account now. Give Renning the brain and collect his reward too. You've made out quite well. I did this for the greater good of the Empire. But you'll take my credits, won't you? Planning to donate them to the Imperial Orphanage? Hmm? We shouldn't be seen speaking again. Lord Renning might suspect us. Give him the brain. You have the brain at last. Excellent work. I trust it wasn't too much trouble. It was quite a fight. Yes, I would imagine so. Just look at the size of that specimen. I must continue my research at once. Great discoveries await. Take a reward and go. It gave me great pleasure. Yes, yes, you may stop talking now. Goodbye. Yes, can I help you with something? Hold on. Are those the research supplies we were after? I'd given up on them days ago. You've no idea how much I appreciate this. Some of these chemicals take months to manufacture. Not much use to you, but vital to us. Thank you. You're welcome to use some of our equipment as compensation. I'll make sure to mention you to the commander. Well, look who's here. Remember me? I never forget a face. Your name is Dolgis, right? Vemrin's boy. Very good. It's good to know the name of your killer. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts. No more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. I was wrong. What they're saying about you, totally true. So... strong. I don't want to die. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Oh, you won't see me again. I promise. <gasps> We must speak quickly, Acolyte. There isn't much time. I may have made a slight miscalculation. The beast of Mark Aragnos was a great source of dark energy here on Corriban. When it was slain, there was a tremor in the Force. Darth Barris felt that tremor and has become aware of you. He demands an audience. Tell me what to expect, Overseer. Barris is a serious man, but a master of deception. Everything he does and says is calculated. He will attempt to trip you up, test your nature, get to the heart of who you are. Always take him seriously. And I mean always. Consider me warned. We might not speak again, Acolyte. You're the best chance of stopping Vemrin. If you fail, I doubt there will be another strong enough. Good luck. Meet Darth Barris in his chambers, and hurry. He won't take kindly to waiting. Tino. I believe that's the one. Really? All right. Hey, you! Careful, Tino. Come on, I'm antsy for some action. You there! Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself? News sure does travel fast. Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino? What my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, 
We'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Vemrin. We'll kill him for you. <laughs> Sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. <laughs> so, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? I will not stoop to Vemrin's level. No. No, of course not. You're too smart. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, people might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? I'm not interested. Sorry. Let us prove ourselves to you. Spar with us. Then decide if we have the skills to benefit you in this endeavor. All right. Let's see what you've got. At your best, boys. It's time to audition for the big show. took all four of us apart. This changes everything. From what I hear, Vemrin's every bit your physical equal. <laughs> if we can't even hold up sparring against you, we'll never be able to kill him. I agree. You should steer clear of Vemrin. Well, this has been quite the sobering experience. Thanks for setting us straight. I don't get it. Are we going to kill somebody or not? No, Tino. And I think we ought to rethink this whole Sith training thing, hmm? Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. This is the end of the line for you, Clemrel. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Vimran. I see the upstart, but no sign of Douglas. Clemrel, Vimran, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Douglas. It will not happen again. Are you having trouble with Acolyte Vimran, supplicant? It seems that way. I'm not sure why he's so bothered by me. And why shouldn't he be? Vimran has paid his dues. He's fought a deck stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand. Let me get a closer look at you. Yes, as I suspected. Overseer Tremel has done you and this academy a great disservice. Your Warblade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Korriban instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your mind is soft, unhoned, undisciplined. It was never my intention to offend. But it is offensive to be presented with an acolyte who doesn't even have a rudimentary understanding of what it means to be Sith. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith Code. Recite the Sith Code for me, acolyte, and explain its meaning in battle, war, and politics. I don't recall learning a Sith Code, my lord. Your ability is undeniable. But your readiness and your understanding of the Sith way is woefully lacking. I am your master now. Tremel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel and bring back his hand as proof. I do not like the idea of killing him, but I'll do it if I must. I do not make requests, supplicant. Now, leave. 
I'm sure Tremel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barris sent you back to me? Your instincts are sharp, Overseer. Barris ordered me to kill you. Then I have been outplayed. Barris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well, you have your orders, Zacolite. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. Hold on. It doesn't have to come to this, Tremel. Do not hedge now. This is the way of the Sith. I'll try to make your end quick and painless. It's the least I can do. strong in the force, but not like this. You're more than ready to challenge Vimrin. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death, but I die knowing my success. Go ahead. End this. You're getting ahead of yourself. I only need your hand. What? Wait. I think I understand. Paris demands my hand. Proof of my death. I don't want your pity, Acolyte. It's not pity. I don't want you to die. I'm a credit to the dark side. My cause is just. You can see clearly. Even if Barras cannot. Take my hand. <laughs> well, that didn't tickle. I'll rest and then leave Corriban covertly. Just be thankful you're not dead. Of course. Goodbye, Acolyte. Rid the Sith of that plague, Vemrin. My hopes lie with you.